Hi everyone, welcome to virtualbrigade.com. In this particular video, I'll show you uh, what are the different components are involved in NSXT environment and what are their roles. So NSXT works by implementing three separate but integrated planes. We call it as a management plane, the control plane and the data plane. So uh, you will deploy the management plane in the VM form factor. You will initially configure the NSX manager and then you will deploy the NSX controller nodes which runs the control plane. And the data plane is your ESXi host, KVM host and the NSX edges which are collectively called as transport nodes. So the three different types of planes are implemented as a set of processes, modules and agents residing on three types of nodes. One is your NSX manager which is deployed in the VM form factor and the NSX manager runs the management plane agent and the NSX controllers are also deployed in the VM form factor. They can be deployed in the ESXi host or the KVM host. Once the NSX controllers are deployed, there would also be a management plane agent running on the NSX controller nodes along with the central control plane agents. So the ESXi host and the KVM host and the NSX edges can be configured as the transport nodes. Each ESXi host, KVM host, NSX edges would be running the management plane agent and also runs the control plane agent. So every node hosts a management plane agent. As I said, uh, each individual host, be it a management plane, control plane and the transport nodes, all these three nodes are running the management plane agent. The NSX manager node hosts API services. Each NSXT installation supports a single NSX manager node. So which means uh, your transport node can only be a part of a single management plane uh, node. The NSX controller nodes host the control plane cluster daemon. So there is a uh, central control plane daemon that runs on the NSX controllers which we call it as a CCP daemon that runs on the NSX controller nodes and there is also a controller node runs on the ESXi host, KVM host and the NSX edges. We call it as a local control plane agent which is the net CPA agent that runs on the transport nodes. So the NSX controller nodes and the host the control plane cluster daemon. NSX manager and NSX controller nodes may be hosted on same physical server. As I said, the NSX manager, the NSX controllers can be deployed in the VM form factor and uh, these can be deployed on the ESXi host and the KVM host. So the NSX manager can be deployed in the VM form factor on the ESXi host as well as on the KVM host. The KVM host might be running on uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux or they can be running on the Ubuntu, uh, uh, Ubuntu uh, operating system. So the NSX manager and the NSX controllers are collectively called as the management plane cluster. So the management cluster is collectively referred to NSX manager and NSX controller. So this is my manager, uh, manager node which is deployed in the VM form factor. There is a management plane bus and there is also a management plane agent that runs on the NSX manager. The management plane bus and the uh, management plane agent are communicating with each other. And there is a controller node, you can deploy a three node control plane cluster, you can deploy three controller VMs and then you can configure the control plane cluster. So there is a ma management plane agent also running on the controller node along with the central control plane agent. So this is called as a central control plane agent that is running on the controller nodes. On the transport node, there is a management plane agent which, uh, which interacts with the NSX manager through the management plane bus. And there is a local control plane daemon that runs on the transport node. This transport node can be a ESXi host, KVM host or the NSX edge node. And there is also a forwarding engine that runs on the uh, transport nodes. So the central control plane and the local control plane would be interacting with each other. And the management plane agent running on the uh, KVM host or the ESXi host will be interacting with the NSX manager through the management plane bus. And what is the role of the management plane, data plane and the uh, control plane? The data plane uh, basically performs the stateless forwarding and it is the single source of truth and also handles the failover of uplinks. Once we configure the ESXi host, KVM host or the NSX edges as the transport node, the data plane are, are running on those transport nodes will handle the failover of the uplinks. And the control plane, what is the role of the control plane? The control plane basically computes the ephemeral runtime state and reports it to the uh, NSX manager. The NSX controller nodes are often called as the signaling of the network and it deals with uh, the control plane basically deals with the virtual interfaces. 
the logical networks the logical ports the logical routers and the ip addresses and the control plane is basically divided into two parts one is the central control plane that is running on the nsx uh, controllers and there is a local control plane that runs on the transport nodes like esxi host kvm host and the nsx edges and what is the role of the management plane the management plane is the entry point into the nsx domain once everything is configured the nsx admin can log into the nsx manager to perform the day to day operations so it basically passes the configuration when the user configures something from the nsx manager it is going to immediately persist that particular configuration inside the management uh, node database and it also handles the user queries uh, when the nsx admin queries something the nsx management plane is responsible for the handling the user queries and the changes can be made through uh, restful apis or the nsxt gui so the nsx admin can make an api call to the nsx manager through the restful api and you can you uh, and the nsx admin can also uh, configure uh, from the nsxt gui there is a uh, separate nsxt gui where, uh, which is no longer dependent on the vcenter server you no longer depend on the vcenter server in order to manage the nsxt environment so there is a separate gui through which the nsx admin can log in and performs the configuration from the nsx manager and there is a management plane agent that runs across all the clusters and the transport nodes so there is a management plane agent running on the nsx manager there is a management plane agent running on the nsx controllers and there is a management plane agent running on the transport nodes like esxi host kvm host and the nsx edges so the configuration persistent the nsx uh, manager is responsible for configuration persist and it is also responsible for handling the input validation so the when the nsx admin configures something from the nsx manager the nsx management plane is responsible for validating the inputs that are provided by the nsx admin and it also handles the user queries user management if you want to allocate if you want to assign some roles to the nsx admin you can do that with the role assignments nsx manager is responsible for that and the nsx manager can also do the policy management and there is also the background uh, tracking also is done by the nsx uh, managers so this is all about the nsxt management plane control plane and the data plane in my next video i'll uh, take you through the nsx manager installation wherein i'll deploy the nsx manager as a vm in a vm form factor on my uh, on my esxi host i thank you for watching please do subscribe to my channel thank you